Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Yellowfin Yachts. Hi, my name is Georgia. Hi, my name is Courtney. And we're here fishing with our dads. And it's going to be awesome! <laughs> Well, it's summertime here in Central Florida. So Billy and I thought we'd do ourselves a favor today, take some kids fishing, our kids. So Georgia and Courtney are out with us, doing a little fishing inside Tampa Bay. We got a little more wind than they called for. So uh, we decided to just come in the inside bay here and uh, get on some of these big humps and see if we can't pull some mackerel, some ladyfish, trout, little sharks, things like that, just to uh, entertain the girls for the day, spend a day with our kids. It's nice when you work for yourself and you get to go do that. What I'm gonna do, we're using a knocker rig, but I'm gonna use just like a, make a little bottom rig just to get that weight off because we're getting bites, but a little, like maybe little grunts or something. I just wanna see if I can get something hooked up for the kids so we don't lose them. Come here, G, reel, 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 reel. You got a reel, got a reel, got a reel, got a reel. Got a reel. Got a girl. Whoa. There's part of our problem. There's our problem. The bottom is covered in pinfish. And there in lies, therein lies our problem. Because we got pinfish down there picking out our baits. They'll pick the eyeballs out of your live baits. What a great situation right there. Here you go, G. Come on, G, girl. Thank you. I was gonna hold it. You wanna hold it? Yeah. There you go. Actually, I'll put it right here. Might wanna hold it in case it goes off. Why are you throwing fish out? It's a good way to get the fish fired off. Doing a little chumming. So like basically getting the fish towards us? Yep, bringing the fish to us, sweetie. Won't they swim away? Uh, they're going to swim right here on the boat. That's why I squeeze them a little bit so they don't go too far. Oh, there he is. There he is, little shark. Real, 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 real. Real, real, you got a real, get a real. Going to go under the boat. Going to go under the boat. I see it. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on to the real. All right. Okay, don't reel anymore. He tail wrapped himself. Nice, nice. All right, hang on. That's a gourd. Come here, G. Let me see. Hold on, hold on to the rod for me, sweetheart. Oh, little black tips. In the summertime, we get so much little bait up here that these little black tips will come in. Now, this one's all mouth. He wrapped his, wrapped his snout all up, spinning around, acting all crazy. He wrapped himself. Yeah, yeah, they do have really sharp teeth. You want to be really careful with those guys. Yeah, I'm gonna try and de-hook them now. Do you have a regular? Oh, come on, never mind. He took care of it himself. What I've got here is just a chum bag I put my, my chum in. But they come already, you can get them, they're already, uh, where we were at this morning, they happened to sell it's already in a bag. So really all you need to do is just tie a line to that and hang it over. But I've just got this, so we just dropped the whole thing right in that and cleaned it off and <clears throat> let it get going. They've got them in a plastic bag. Do me and everybody a favor. Do not throw this overboard. Put it in your trash can because plastic is real bad on the animals. If you suck one up in your lower unit, you're not going to get water to your, your motor and you're going to burn your motor up. Come on, fishy fish. Come on, child. Woo! Reels. 
All right, Courtney, here. There you go, Courtney. Whoa. Yeah, G, G lift your, G baby's on too. G baby, you just got rolled up. There you go, Courtney. Yeah, I don't know, stop. I oh, did you see him jumping? I can't, reel. Reel, reel yours in, G. You reel, daddy. No, dude, this is yours, honey. G had a bigger one roll up on her bait, Mike. I can't do it. Yeah, you can, come on, baby, I, we got it. We're gonna do it together, you ready? Okay, reel down, reel, turn the handle. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at him go. All right, reel down. Pull up. Oh, look at that shark, Courtney. Oh, my goodness. What are you going to name this one? Prince. This is going to be Princess. You sound just like your Uncle Mike. You know what he does when he gets a big fish on? His voice gets real deep, too. What are you going to name it? Princess. I'll say it deep. Princess. You got to look at there. Woo! Give me five. Awesome. Get him, Daddy. Way to go, Court. There he is right there. Nice, Woo! sir. There we go. And away we go. Give me five, Court. See you later, Sean. This is a piece here in Tampa Bay. It's seven foot of water. It's got some deep grass on it. A lot of trout, uh, speckled and silver trout get on it, Spanish mackerel get on it, catfish, ladyfish. It's a great go get them spot for kids. I felt a really hard tug. That's all right, just let it sit for a minute. Keep feeling these tugs and... Tugs and tugs? I oh, I somebody just got rolled up on right there. I think it's just, oh. I got something! Right. Get him, oh. G. Oh, did he get away from yeah. it? Hey, G, baby. Next time he hits, try not to pull back hard on it. Let him go ahead and run, and then you got him. Yeah, okay? let, him, let him run. Don't pull right away, okay? Good job, though. Dad, my thing's just like barely moving. Okay. But it's like pulling on it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it won't, it won't barely move if you have a fish. It'll move fast. It'll get rocked. So Oof. when I catch one, I just let it go and then pull it? Yeah, you just let it go. Let it make that drag noise before you get all excited. If you pull up right away, sometimes they don't have it all the way in their mouth, okay? Kind of like pulling on it. Yeah, he's not pulling on it. You'll know. Oh, look at that. Nice ride trout, G, baby. G. Put your right tip go, high, girl. baby. Nice trout. All right, stop reeling. Nice little speckle trout. Okay, what we want to do, when we get him, we want to lift it like that, leave Uncle Billy plenty of room, and we're going to get the D hooker, because you know what? These yeah, fish, here you go, come here. Swing it this way. These fish have got a slime coating on them, Georgia and we don't want to touch them because when you touch them, it takes that coating off and that's, that's what protects him. So we're going to put just like your gloves in the wintertime to protect you. That's what that, that slime does, it protects him. Good job, darling. Give me five. Don't leave me, you're leaving me hanging. Uh, most people don't get to interact with sea creatures, so I think it's kind of cool that I get to see an actual sea creature that I haven't seen and I haven't heard of the species. Do you think I'm gonna get something? Just yeah, Georgia. Hang on. When it don't pull back right away, let him take it, okay? Let him take it. Real? No. Let him take it. Yeah. Lift your rod tip. Lift your rod tip. Lift. Re uh, reel. See what it is. Reel up just a little bit. Slow. Slow. Reel. 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 Georgia, you got him. Get him, G. Get him, G. All right. Rod tip high. Rod tip high. Reel, baby. Reel. That a girl. That a girl. Reel. All right. Hey, girl. Well, oh, coming Courtney. at the boat. Oh, coming Courtney at the boat. Coming yours. at the boat. We got to get another bait out Oh, quick. big, oh. big Spanish mackerel. She got a big Spanish. mackerel. All right. Good job, George Peaches. Hold on. Don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. That's a huge Spanish mackerel, Georgia. Woo! Hold on to the rod. Hold on to the rod. Don't let it go. Holy smokes. That's a good one. That's a dandy right there. That's a good one. And the cords. Look at the teeth on it, girls. That's creepy. Creepy. Whoa, hey, what a release, huh? That <laughs> a girl, Peach. Nice job, Get Georgia. Five, good See work. how good it was when you just took your time? It's a pretty big piece of water right here. Um, it's a giant shoal out here in the middle of the bay. You got 15 foot water kind of surrounds this piece. It comes up here, there's some deep grass, six, seven, eight foot of water, depending on what the tide's doing. So sometimes these fish, they need a little extra motivation. You gotta be patient on some days. Some days you pull up here, throw some chum out. You know, it's fish on for three hours. Today it's been a little slower. Uh, we're on the backside of a new moon. So, uh, you know, you'll have that when you're fishing sometimes. So, seems like the longer we're here, the more chum we get in the water, the more fish are showing up. So 
I get to see like a lot of sharks and stuff. And it's really fun when you catch them because it's surprising that you actually get the shark. You got it, go girl, get look at him, he's right there. Right there. Oh, he's upset, isn't he, see? No. All right, well hang on, let me have it just a second. Let's get around this motor. Come here, little guy. There he is, I see him, I see him. Yeah, look at him, see him right there? All right, here you go. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet, do you? Whoa, there he goes. He knows. Ooh, he, knows. <laughs> he knows. Now, what are we gonna name this one? That's a black tip shark. You see the little black tips on his fins? Blade. Huh, Blade? Blade. You gonna name him Blade? Mm -hmm. Why are you naming him Blade? Because he's a black tip shark. Oh, okay. Well, you know, Georgie and Courtney, you ever see the sharks jumping and spinning around? All right, well, those are called spinner sharks, and this is like a spinner shark's first cousin. Well, let me ask you this. Y'all won't kiss fish, but will you give this shark a kiss right on the lips? No, 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 <laughs> no. You do it. Me? Yeah. I don't want to get a bloody, look at the teeth in this guy. I want to see, I want to see. Come here, look. See the teeth in there? This is so cool. See? Bye. See the teeth in there? Bye. And he's got rows and rows of them, and when they fall out, another one comes up. Hey gang, this week's tip of the week, I wanna to talk to you about something really, really important. You know, we all go out and we buy a new boat and we buy a bunch of life jackets. A lot of times, people, maybe you don't have kids, you get a bunch of life jackets, this size right here. Courtney's wearing an adult, uh, normal life jacket that most people have in their boat for recreational boating. What happens then is, if you have some friends with some kids and you invite them out in your boat, we need to make sure that we're thinking about the kids and having the proper life jackets on the boat for the kids. This one right here is way too big for Miss Courtney. You know, it probably, it might work for her, but we really don't want to take that chance. Besides the fact that the Coast Guard or the Sheriff's Department or somebody stops you, they're going to want to make sure that these life jackets are the right size for the kids, okay? This is an adult jacket. It's good for the adults, not so good for the kids. So we need to make sure that we're paying attention to this kind of stuff at the boat ramp before we launch the boat and take a chance with one of these precious little lives. There's, there's special weight restrictions on these life jackets. Once Georgia grows a little more, that life jacket won't be any good for her. I'll have to get her a new one as well. So just something we want you to pay attention to. Again, most people have a bunch of these in their boat. Somebody's thinking about life jackets. Yeah, I got life jackets in the boat. We need to remember when we have kids on the boat, we need to have kid life jackets along with us. And that is your tip of the week. Well, we got, you know, right when we pulled up, we had some black tip sharks kind of showed up in the chum slick, and now we're starting to get the mackerel go. It's a little slower than what we'd like for the kids, but we're catching some fish, we're poking at them a little bit. I think G finally got her shark. Yeah, and now let it run, let it run. All right. Nice. Not real. Oh, you got a big one, G. <laughs> Rod tip up. That a girl. Keep your odd tip high. Let me get this one out of your way. Atta girl. You're okay. Keep reeling. Yes, it does. It it's hurts. painful. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice shark, G. Nice shark, G girl. There's nothing wrong with shark fishing. No, sir. In the summertime, there's a lot of these fish in here. We get a hatch of real small fry bait and the Spanish mackerel and everything crashes those baits. The birds crash the baits and it creates a natural chum slick on the bottom that these guys, these predators feed on. So it works out really good for them. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you know what, kids <laughs> think they're cool, Mike. Oh yeah, kids think they're cool, yeah. Uh, adults think they're cool. <laughs> I think they're cool too. There you go. a girl. Let me see, I think he ate it. Ate it, ate it. Okay, don't reel anymore. We're good. Put the rod tip up, don't let it touch the boat. Oh yeah, they are pretty. Yeah, we're gonna probably just cut it. You want a pair of scissors to snip it with? It's awfully close to the... Yeah, that hook will fall out in a couple of days anyway. Well, it's just so close to... Here you go. Uh, These got a little longer bite on them if you want so to So close to the yeah. We're not gonna play with you, my friend. There he goes. 
Swims off nice and safe. Georgia Peaches! Oh, Woo! Right. <laughs> we got, take them fishing and all they do is complain, huh? Tell you what, this is fun out here with the girls doing this with our kids, man. I love it just, this. It doesn't get any better. You remember when you were a kid and your dad used to bring you out? Yeah, except, you know, dad wasn't handing me the rod. <laughs> dad said, I'm catching that. <laughs> oh, double. Come Courtney, here, somebody. Come go, Courtney, get the other one. Come here, son. Come here, Courtney. Oh. Take this one, baby. Yeah, okay. All oh. right. Rod tip off. Oh, we lost him. Yeah, go on it. All what right. we have. George is hooked up. George is hooked up. Sweet. Now get him, G. Now we only need to catch one more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. There you go. Rod and tip high. There you go, big son. Little shark, not a girl. Oh! You want to see hooker Mike? No, let's see where he's hooked at. Okay. No, not on the boat, not on the boat. All right, reel, reel a little bit. Reel, 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 reel. Look at this John! No. They got all kinds of energy. Yeah, we got another one that's gonna be a keeper. Yeah, they're here. You wanna just cut that one? Yeah. Is that a keeper? No, we're not gonna keep him doing this. There we go. Hey. Hey, girl. Good job, G. All right, got to be a little patient good. today, but it's working hey, out job, all right. Daddy. Hey, it's working out all right. <laughs> Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. Hey, gang. This is our uh, crew today, our guest today, if you will, Miss Georgia and Miss Courtney. Our little girls. Yeah, got them up very early today to take them fishing. Summertime here in West Central Florida, so they were out of school. And we had the pleasure to spend some time fishing with you guys. They showed us up today, too. Yeah, you know, that's the way it works. Let's, let's start with Courtney. Courtney, if you could only catch one fish for the rest of your life, what fish would it be and why? Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi, yeah, you like that one? How come? Because I caught it when I was three and it was like a really great moment because it was a 20 pound mahi. Wow, nice, nice, nice. All right, Georgia Peaches, you're up. You can only catch one fish for the rest of your life. What would it be and why? Um, maybe a shark. You like the sharks, huh? Yeah, we catch a lot of sharks in the summertime when we go fishing, huh? Good fight? Yeah? Hurt your hand, didn't it? I think. I paralyzed it. <laughs> <laughs> you paralyzed it? Well, that's the point, isn't it? Catch no. big fish? No. <laughs> the point is to have fun. The point is to have fun, isn't it? The point is to have fun. That's it. That's what it's all about right there. And taking these kids out and doing it just doesn't, just doesn't get any better, you know? One of the things we preach uh, now this year, you know, in our sixth year of doing this show, Billy's been closing the show all these years with Do Yourself a Favor, Take a Kid Fishing, and trust us from our very core of our hearts this is the thing that makes it all worthwhile. Spending time with your family, spend time with your kids, get them in the great outdoors and, uh, and, and turn them onto the wonderful world of fishing. That's it, because I mean, you know, it's like Georgia was saying, the chum bag sort of looked like her little scallop bag. And Cordy's like, well, I got one of those too, because when we're in the Keys, we go diving. That's what she puts her starfish and stuff like that in. And yeah. I tell you, just things that you can do, it doesn't matter what it is, spending time outdoors with your family, with kids, get them interested in doing stuff like this out away from the TV, away from the computer. You get them interested in doing stuff like that because it's not going to be too long, pal. I mean, right now these girls are young, but it's not going to be too much longer. They're going to be teenagers. They're going to be going off to college and then having families of their own. So, you know, better enjoy it now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing, uh, nothing for me is better than getting outdoors with the family, my daughter, my wife, uh, seeing Billy and his family be on the water. It's all good stuff. So, you know, too. we're not closing the show yet, but do yourself a favor and definitely take a kid fishing. Get him, you better, get him, get him. Get him, coach her, girl. Get him, coach her. I can't. Yeah, you can. Get up there. Here you go. Oh, it's a shark. Huh? It's a hard shark. Get up there and coach her, baby. Go, go. Help, this ah. help ah. her out, Courtney. Help her. Tell her how to get that fish. Coach her, baby. Oh, up, 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 there you go, work together. Okay, easy, easy, don't pick it up. Sorry to hear. Here you go, Georgia, hang on to the rod for me. Girls, watch out. That's a dandy right there. Yeah. And it's free! 
<laughs> I was gonna try and grab it and get my hands on it so the girls could get a touch on it, but Shark had other ideas, and we, if we're not really careful there, you get yourself in a lot of trouble, so just as good that it got away. Good stuff right there. Guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And this week, we really enjoyed it having our kids out fishing. It's great. Miss Georgia Peaches, good time. I hope that wrist mends up for you. And Miss Courtney, thank you for getting up so early and being bushy-tailed and, and being a good girl on the boat today. Your daddy's proud of you. You did a good job. At least I didn't get sick again. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys want to bring your families to Florida and come do this, give us a call at 1-866-GAMEFISH. We'll get you hooked up with a guide anywhere in Florida. For more great fishing info, you can log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. You can follow us on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, do yourself a favor and take a kid fishing. Bait, baby? I can't you can't dip a bait, okay? No, I can, but I don't. No, no, you just don't feel like it. Don't oh, you see, you put the camera on them, they turn into prima donnas. What's up with that? <laughs>